Well, what's up guys, Ben here, bringing you another video today. I know we were starting off the work to do series and I wanna continue that, but we're gonna put a pin in that for now. And I wanna cover the results from the FC Black NA Challengers Cup um, that finished up uh, overnight. And that kind of ties into a situation going on with the Carolina, Carolina Royal Ravens and Real situation. They're all kind of tied together and I wanna give you the full context, so let's dive in. All right, first off, let's start off with the FC Black Cup, the grand finals, which finished up at 4 a.m. last night. Listen, you know my thoughts on that. It's ridiculous, but whatever. FC Black end up taking last map against Convoy Gaming, which is Fellows team. And FC Black is obviously Ace and Krem, Black, Brack, and Exceed. Um, and these have been the two best, I think, NA Challengers teams. I know Donnie's team gets a lot of views, but I think Donnie's team is probably second or third fiddle to these teams. But these are these were number one and number two in NA. Other than maybe Eric Boom's team has also been playing pretty good. These guys uh, went the distance and it was FC Black, which uh, came up uh, in the last map. FC Black actually had to make a pretty decent comeback. If we take a look here, they lost actually in losers round three or winners round three, rather. Went, dropped down to losers round four and had to win one, two, three, four, five series in a row to make it to grand finals. And they beat Donnie's team. They beat the team that beat them. They beat Eric Boom's team. So like, you know, there's a lot going on here as far as them making this run and respectful they you end up making the loser run to win the tournament. The Ace and Krem duo is definitely a problem. I, I just don't really think anyone in, in NA Challengers can really hold a candle to their slaying power. Right now, we'll see if this uh, holds up uh, when they get to land in Boston, but Ace and team right now is the inside track to, I think, being the team that's going to um, probably get a lot of offers where they stick together in some form. Uh, after Major 1, we'll see on some pro teams, but Right now, a lot of the top targeted players, I think, may be on this squad. And that ties into the Carolina situation. So let's get into it. So 6.30 p.m.-ish East Coast time. I was live when this dropped. I was playing the Bot Bash Tournament, Hitches Bot Bash Tournament. Shout out to Davis and TST boys for hosting that one. I had a great time. Ace, um, the Stocksman, you know, Lamar's uh, uh, associated with the Lamar uh, uh, Betty clan. He uh tweeted breaking the carolina royal ravens are looking to replace real well not finalized several players are currently being targeted as potential options per multiple sources and breaking point followed it up with a breaking the carolina royal ravens are looking at replacing real multiple places are being targeted via the stocks and the problem with these tweets and we was immediately pointed out in the call i was in on stream is that there's a lot of context missing here and clay actually uh who is a member of the carolina team gets into it we've been plan being and seeing if we can find a replacement for this weekend's matches Jose, aka Real, is in the last steps of his visa process and could get approved by this weekend. We're just making sure we have a fail safe. Good response from Clay, missing a couple periods, but not the point there. Clay should not need to come on Twitter and clarify what are very misleading tweets. One from an account that's supposed to be tweeting out uh, information and news. So not only did they get a dead wrong on breaking point, Ace should know better. Ace is my guy. Listen, I've come on his podcast. He's my guy. This isn't YouTube, bro. You do not need to clickbait like this on Twitter. It is very important that you get the information correct. And yes, on the face of it, they are looking to replace Real, but replace in the sense of temporary replacement and replace in the sense of he's waiting to get his visa final. And the context is very important. And this was just an inaccurate tweet and Clay had to come in and correct them. So I hope that for breaking point in for Ace that this is the last time this ever happens. It should be a learning lesson to make sure that they are tweeting we're talking about accurate information. It, it, it is, it is not, they're not doing a community service that they're doing by this stuff. And look, I love Ace, but you know, he complains a lot of times that Reddit and Twitter doesn't like him. I love you Ace, but like the reason that Reddit and Twitter doesn't like you is because of stuff like this. Like he's gotta be a lot smarter in what he tweets. You don't have to tweet inaccurate, quick baby information to get people to tune into a newsy tweet. Just say it how it is, bro. State how it is based on your sources. All right, but let's get into the meat of it. So Carolina has one match this weekend, I believe. It is against the Minnesota Rocker at 4.30 East Coast time. And it's actually kind of a big match because it's really going to be one of the better opportunities that Carolina is going to get uh, in this remaining stretch of online matches to get points, try and I guess try and get to win his bracket. I don't know. So they only need a player for one match. Don't know if they would practice with this player. Not really sure what the situation was. Scrap was on stream we were talking about saying that, you know, they're trying to figure it out, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of a calculus here if you're a top AM player and you get approached here because yes, you get an opportunity to get a pro match in, but like, it's not like the Carolina team is like a very good squad that's contending for championships. They got slammed before the break. Got slammed bad. This team is one of the worst teams in the league. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They have not been playing well. And if you're a sub coming in and you're sitting there getting baited by players that are trying to pad their KD so they keep their league spot. If I were a challengers player, it's going to be very difficult for me to be down for this to get away from practice with 
my team. So I expect they probably hit up like people on, on Asim's team. They probably hit up like Do Real. They probably hit up like TJ. I actually think we we're talking about this last time. I actually think TJ will probably be one of the best subs for them to bring in because I think TJ is going to be very, he's going to kind of understand and be able to work around very quickly what they're trying to do. But those would be the type of players they'd be targeting a sub player because that is sort of what the position the rail plays or someone who's going to kind of run a third AR. Uh, they're not looking for like a full-time AR slow player. They need someone with a little bit of speed. It's just a question of if you Carolina, like can you convince any of these players to take this one match opportunity? I think someone will between Asim squad, fellow squad, uh, Donnie squad, maybe Cruzy might do it now. They got dropped from Boston Academy. Like Eric Boom squad, maybe uh, one some player might take a chance and kind of play this match just to get a rep. And I assume we'll probably find out next day or two who it is if they end up going with this plan because the point of Clay's tweet, like they may not need to, where I'm not get his visa thing stamped and then they can just let him play from Toronto. But it seems like there is a legal situation of trying not to get in trouble because if you are applying for a work visa and you're already working for an American company, when it comes time to stamp that visa, they may not stamp it and be like, you get no visa now. Uh, tough situations and I'll keep reporting more as we get more information here on what's going on with Carolina situation. So yeah, that's it for the video. I'm sorry if I, you know, was definitely a little bit harsh on Asin breaking point. I feel like it was a huge miss from them and they know better. It's not the first kind of controversy breaking points had about content they've tweeted. Just gotta be careful. This it's not a it's not a rush to get information out. It should be you should always make sure that you're reporting the correct thing with the correct context because that is important. And I hope that they learn the lesson going forward here. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of uh one, you know, FC Black winning, and two, what you guys think about Carolina and who they should try and convince to fill in for their team for the Minnesota Rocker match if they need it. Like, if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. As always, guys, we'll see you on the next one.